So just join me first of all in thanking all of those speakers, then we'll go some oh, questions. I'm coming to you. Uh, uh, yeah, the lady in the back needs to lady, talk. I'm, I'm coming to you. She's got, he's uh, as, as, I, as I said... No, no, he's coming to I you. I beg your pardon? I want to speak to the I'm going to give you the floor. I beg your pardon? Uh, yes, madam. I said and uh, when we broke with the Kenya, I was going to come back to you. I'm going to give... Fine, you may talk to me. But first I'm going to give... The protocol is I give our forum members, first of all, I give the forum members the opportunity to ask questions, then I will come to you. Ladies and gentlemen... I beg your pardon? I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. So, um... Lee Yang, I appreciate that. I saw your hand. Do you have a question? Can you please make it a short question because I have very little time. Excuse me, before I say my question, I want to tell you who I am. My name is Lee Yang. I'm running for public office for U.S. Senate this year. I run for public office since 1994. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. And Do we have I a have, question for the panel, madam? I want to raise all the questions. Right? Education. I have raised two children. They go all through the MIT, and they have... For the, or the graduation four years, but the system want to label them inferior. And I have business, but take all my business, my asset capital and human capital, financial capital, and they murder my husband so they can get thank all I, the I, witnesses. I, I, thank you very much. Listen. No. So I want Leanne? to ask questions. I want to ask, ask questions. Ask the question then, please. Now, I mean, if you don't have justice and fairness, if you don't protect people, people as they have been robbed, how do they run the business? So you are asking government to give you asset by robbing other people. That's wrong. And you are doing the profit over people, so you are creating all the privatization. You rob our government resources to you rather than to the people who build up jail, who build a hospital, who build a rehab center to murder people. Right. So thank so you very much. I just listen. want to let you know, okay. first you use your uh, effort to have a restore a justice and fairness right. first. Madam, I'm going to cut you off now. Thank you very much indeed. Save the resources. We're going to break for lunch. I'm going to come and speak to you. I'm going to listen to those concerns. You talk very eloquently about the role of the public sector and the importance of governance. But now I'm going to hand over to, for, for, uh, to forum members to ask questions of this panel uh, okay, around the partnership in Brazil. Can My we turn that microphone off, please, now? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. What a so, thank you, everybody. Um, we've got about nine minutes left, uh, according to my clock. Uh, I'm going to open the floor now to four members and others who have questions around the partnership, uh, the InBev partnership in Brazil. So, George, is that a question or is that a residual flag? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I'm, I'm, I, I'm. I, oh, yes, sorry, go ahead, no, please, good. yeah, thanks, Jenny, go ahead. Hi, um, thanks again for um, the panel and the conversation, and I think both sort of talking about the two different um, formats is very interesting and, and helpful, and I guess maybe one thing that we could talk about a little bit here at the end is um, how do we um, – uh, create a and magnify these opportunities to talk in these different forums if there's ways that we can um, have this sort of conversation not just end here today yeah. thank you do we have others or is, um, lunch I think is um, is, uh, is beckoning I mean I think I, I, Wesley I thought that was fantastic at the end you asked those questions so where I sit um, in, in New York um, and I think about the NCD conference coming up I know what a hard time you will have. Uh, um, and, and you've seen the, the Lancet, you saw Peter Sands speak this morning, being criticized for 
uh, so many partnerships that he wasn't even involved with, one with, with, with Heineken, of course. And so there is a real challenge there. And I think having that open conversation about what those challenges are, the fact that we haven't found solutions and we're looking for al alternatives, but with our eyes wide open that there are real conflicts and, uh, as well as perceived conflicts. Um, Alison, when, when you were speaking uh, about the foundation, but then you couldn't speak for the company, but this is what the company says, is telling. Because yes, that's what the company says, but is that really genuine and really believed, and do we have the perceptions? So just as, as, as when I started this forum a, a, a few years ago, it was like a whole new world for me. I, I used to call it a bubble buster from the UN. Um, so learning, learning language, uh, building relationships, finding trust, be, but be also being open to say, well, wait a minute, does that really work, or can we really genuinely believe that? And I think we've got a lot of work to do in this framework of the SDGs to figure out ways in which we can really engage with the private sector, particularly in industries that can and do, that we know, cause harm. And so one avenue is... Absolutely no, no conversation, no dialogue, they're out. This is a public sector response. But we know the public sector response is inadequate and insufficient. So we have to find ways, but it won't be comfortable for any of us. So with that, would you please all join me in thanking uh, our panel again. Thank you. <laughs>